On today's show, coming soon, cars that can fix themselves. Honda's IndyCar wings look like they came off a Fokker triplane, and sales of the FRS and BRZ are starting to fizzle out. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for March 10th of 2015. Even though the Chinese car market is now the biggest in the world, it's not the richest, at least not yet. Last year, 19.7 million new vehicles were sold in China, generating $410 billion in sales. But in the U.S. market, 16.5 million new cars were sold, but they generated $571 billion, 161 billion more than in China. That's according to TrueCar, which conducted this comparison. And it's all got to do with transaction prices. The average car in China sold for $20,800 compared with $34,500 in the U.S. But this is interesting. Chinese brands sell for an average of just $15,700, while foreign makes go for $32,280. Speaking of true car, Automotive News reports it is getting sued by 117 car dealers for false advertising and unfair competition. The dealers claim that they suffered from lost profits when they had to match or beat true cars allegedly false prices and terms. But the dealers who are suing do not use true car and say they're losing customers to dealers who do use it. True car says their claim is without merit and it's going to fight them in court. Speaking of car dealers, do we need to change what we call them? Our colleagues at Ward's Dealer Business say that the word dealer has a negative connotation. People associate it with drug dealer or wheeler dealer. Instead, Ward suggests we should refer to dealerships as stores and dealers as retailers. I kind of like this idea, but what do you think? Give us your opinion in the comment section below. We'll tally it all up and let you know what the out of line world thinks about this. Still to come, Honda's IndyCar Aero Kit would make Fokker proud. Lamborghini puts up some pretty impressive business numbers and how cars are going to be able to fix themselves. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. We always like to look at how the big mass manufacturers are doing, but we also like to keep an eye on how the specialty brands are performing. And if we look at Lamborghini's 2014 numbers, it had a pretty good year. The automaker increased worldwide sales by 19% to a little over 2,500 cars. Revenue increased to nearly 630 million euros, and that was up 24%. The company attributes the growth to high demand for its Aventador and to the successful launch of the Huracan. If you saw the Autoline After Hours from the HPD Center, Honda Performance Development, you might remember a part of that discussion when they said new IndyCar rules were more flexible than what they have in Formula One, at least for the front wings. And by looking at its new aero kit for the series, Honda wasn't joking. The first thing that comes to mind after seeing that front wing design was the World War I Fokker triplane wings. This is the package that will be used on road courses and short ovals, which includes almost 200 individual pieces that can be fitted to the current chassis. Let's just say that there's a lot of adjustments that can be made. Chevrolet showed off a less radical aero kit for its new IndyCar, and it's going to be Fascinating to see who's got the faster design once those cars hit the track on March 29th in Florida. Speaking of Auto Line After Hours, don't forget to tune in this Thursday when our guest will be Taj Juchter, the chief engineer on the Corvette. Of course, we're going to want to have him talk all about his newest baby, the Z06. So if you have any questions for Taj, send them our way to viewermail at autoline.tv or tweet us at twitter.com slash autoline. 
Don't forget, we now go live at 3 p.m. in our studios at our website at Autoline.tv. Coming up next, sales of the BRZ and FRS are fizzling out fast and how cars are going to get modems embedded in all kinds of components. find you in the end. Hi, Dad. When you're committed to the job, but don't give up and your tires can't be weak in the knees. True love will find you in the end. Durable, dependable Firestone tires. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Every now and then it's worthwhile to turn around and look back and see how certain cars are performing in the marketplace. Two years ago, Subaru made a big splash with the introduction of the BRZ, a low-cost sports car. One of the reasons it was able to offer it at a low cost was that Subaru teamed up with Toyota to co-develop the car and sell it all around the world. Toyota calls the model the 86, except in the U.S. market, where it's sold as the Scion FRS. Unfortunately, sports cars go through a predictable trajectory. A flurry of media coverage lights off a sales frenzy, and then after a year or two, sales drop like a rock. And that's exactly what's happening with these cars, at least in the U.S. market. So far this year, Subaru has sold only 664 BRZs, and that's a drop of 45% compared to last year. Scion has sold 1,552 FRSs, but that's a 21% drop. You know, the only cure for this is to tough it out, hold on until a design refresh hopefully sparks a new sales flurry until the cycle starts again. With all the high-speed communication capabilities going into cars, over-the-air updates could change the way that automakers conduct recalls. Tesla is perhaps the most aggressive at letting customers upgrade their cars by downloading new software, but it's not the only one. Joe Henricks, the president of Ford's operations in the Americas, tells AutoLine that in the future, we're going to see modems embedded in all kinds of components in a car so that they can get over-the-air updates. Henricks says this will change how the industry does recalls and customer service actions. Today, a shocking number of owners never even bother to follow up on a recall. So this is going to make things safer for consumers because in a lot of these cases, the cars will just fix themselves. Anyway, that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching.